This is a Session Berkeley Mantle Cock. In a bit rough condition, the case marks there on the inlay there, up at the top, down the side. Now what we'll do with that, once the mechanism has been removed, I'll restore the case and French polish it and it will come up quite a treat compared to what it is at the moment. Original key and the original pendulum bob. Now look at the back of it. See what we've got. It's a movement. You'll notice one of the springs is unwound. I tried to wind it before, but it wouldn't wind up. The going side is, but the strike side isn't wound. So either we've got a problem with the click or the click spring, or the spring is broken. We won't find that out until we remove the movement, which we're going to do now. That's the paper label on the clock. First thing to do before starting work on any old mechanical clock is to remove the hands. I've got a 5mm spanner here. You loosen that nut, remove it, put it aside, see if the hands come off easily. Now couple of fingernails under the our hand, it's a bit tight so I'll use a hand puller to remove it. Once again being careful of the dial we'll line it up under the hands and then wind the screw down and as we wind it down it lifts the hand off. No damage to the face. Now we'll take the movement out. Right, there's the movement. We've got four screws to remove. One there, one there, one there, one over there. So we'll get them started. Okay, first one. All right. That's all the screws removed. Because the spring's unwound, it's pretty tight to get out. So I'll remove the gong by undoing this nut here on the base. Okay, now pull the gong up and remove the movement. There's the movement out of the case. Right, we'll look at that in a moment. See what's happening. Collect all the screws, put them aside. Now we can have a look at the movement. seems to be in one piece not broken so it means we got to look at the front and I was right we've got no click we've got no click spring you can see it's missing down in there so we'll have to clamp that spring pretty tight otherwise it'll let go and probably destroy some of our wheels so, so let down the going side first onto a mainspring clamp to hold it. Then we'll clamp down this open spring. Then we'll start to take the unit to pieces. I've selected the right size mainspring clamp. That one there. That we're going to put around the going side spring. So we'll pop that in there. Push it on, 
round a bit it's pretty tight so we won't have to let it down very much now using a let down tool you don't use a key for doing this because if it slips it'll make a real mess of your thumb put the let down tool over the winding arbor tighten it up just slightly and then getting a screwdriver into the click we let the pressure out on the spring hold the click back and slowly let the pressure out of the spring until the clamp takes all the pressure there it is that spring is now safe to remove another problem suspension spring broken just hanging on there so we'll replace that we'll keep this spring for measurement so we know where to start off and putting another spring in now we'll clamp down this other spring put a 300 mil cable tie around the spring and tighten it down to stop the spring going off when we remove it I'll put a second one on just as a backup okay that'll hold that we can now start taking the movement to pieces first we'll remove the crutch and pallets we'll put them in our tray for the going side parts that's our fast slow regulator we'll pull that out and then we'll loosen these five nuts All right we'll loosen off the nuts I'm using a five and a half mil spanner put them in a dish so we don't lose them and this one now we may find there'll still be a little bit of pressure in between these plates when we lift them off so we're very careful not to lose any parts little bit of pressure down there on the top of the posts and very carefully come up a bit more and the top and another one the pallets have come out now we'll take the top plate off a little bit of spring there a little bit there not a problem we have removed it and that's our mechanism there the escape wheel still stuck in the plate look at the gunk on that won't even fall out that is the amount of rubbish that's stuck in there they need a serious clean we'll take the movement to pieces once we put it through the ultrasonic bath to clean it we'll then check the uh, the pivots and bushes to see if we need to do any rebushing we'll take the going train to pieces first third wheel second wheel we'll take the spring off so we can get the first wheel out first wheel Remove the spring now. The spring. This one's got a click on it, which is very nice. And a spring. Pop that down there. Now I'll remove the strike side. Fly first. But 
to undo these wires, we'll have to undo these springs so we can take the levers out. Second one, remove the J hook first, which is that piece there, so named for that lever. Goes into the strike side, take the third wheel out, then we'll remove the lift lever. That lever there sits in the cam. That lever there arrests that post there on the warning wheel. And this is the count lever. We'll have a look at that. And that is a bit rough on the end. We'll actually clean that up with a file before we put it back in again. Take that out. And then take that out. As you can see, there's no click and no click spring. We've got spares of those so we'll replace them before we put them back in again after we've cleaned and greased the spring. Now second wheel comes out easily. That's the cam wheel. First wheel. They're very, very dirty. All the lantern pinions have got gunk on them solid oil. Now we'll take out the hammer and then these two pieces like so and that guy which sits in there that's called the motion works that's a cannon arbor where the hour hand sits held by friction on there. That smaller arbor in there is the minute hand arbor. You can see it's square on two sides. The hand sits over that and turns. Finally, we'll remove the count wheel. This wheel here, by removing the clutch on it. A little bit of a Move to the side, unlocks that. And that just slides off. Done. Into the strike side. And that's the count wheel. Oh, we'll put those over there. Now We'll undo the springs and clean them and grease them so that we can then put all the brass parts, the wheels, etc. into the ultrasonic and clean them.